Okay, guys and girls, welcome to room 50 once again. This is for the chemistry required practical, and this is the equipment you will need um, goggles, stirring rod, thermometer, polystyrene cup, a beaker, two measuring cylinders, sodium hydroxide solution, and hydrochloric acid solution. Um, you'll probably have two molar, I've got one molar at the moment. Uh, so First things first, we need the goggles on. This experiment is all about exo and endothermic uh, reactions. This particular one in your book has been done by Mr. Gledhill, who, hey. <laughs> who is in the room as we speak, of Yeesh. course. Yes. Um, so it's well done, practical, quite simple, nice and easy to follow, just like Mr. Gledhill's lessons. Thumbs up. Thumbs up for Mr. Gladdell's lessons. <laughs> so, um, what, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to measure out 30 millilitres of hydrochloric acid uh, in our measuring cylinder, which I've already done. And we're going to do 40 millilitres of sodium hydroxide. Uh, so, what I'm going to do, the most difficult part of this experiment is you take this polystyrene cup and you put it in the beaker very difficult indeed so uh, once you've done that what you're going to do is you're going to take out you're going to take your hydrochloric acid that you've measured out I measured it to 30 millilitres and you're going to pour it into the polystyrene cup like so then what you're going to do is you're just going to let it settle and so that we can get an average reading of the temperature so put your thermometer in and just mix or stir rather because you're not mixing anything stir for a while just so that it can settle out I'll do it for about a minute um, and once you've done that once you've let it settle out for a minute you record your results okay so you take your reading so you're gonna repeat this experiment twice at this moment in time I've added no sodium hydroxide and I did it earlier this experiment and uh, the temperature that I got when I added no sodium hydroxide after I stirred it was 26 degrees Celsius so um, then what we're going to do is we're going to add 5 milliliters at a time of sodium hydroxide up until 40 obviously I've run out of space you guys have a workbook so you won't uh, so 0 to 40 and we're going up 5 mils each time so here's my sodium hydroxide solution. I'm going to add 5 milliliters in. I'm going to use my pipette to do that. Uh, the pipette goes to a maximum of 3 mils. And as you can see, it's gone down by 3 mils. So you're going to have to put in 3 mils and then get 2 more. And you're going to have to be careful and just look at the eye line and just stop squeezing until you've got your 5 mil. So that's my five mils and then once again what you're going to do is you're going to stir stir for about 30 seconds and then get get your results so I've got five mil of sodium hydroxide and record your temperature you're going to do exactly the same for everything else okay so you're going to have another five mil which will make 10 mils in total then another five another five another five another five you're going to stir for about 30 seconds and keep recording the result until you've got your full 40 mils in then you have to decide whether this is an exo or endothermic reaction so you'll know if it's an exothermic reaction because the temperature will go up and you'll know if it's an endothermic reaction because the temperature will go down a very simple procedure, very simple experiment. Um, and again, this is for exo and endothermic reactions. Obviously, with every experiment, you're going to have to think of an evaluation. Uh, are, your, uh, are your results good? Can they be better? How can you make sure that they are better? That's something to think about.